Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your ebook when you export to any format such as Mobi, EPUB, or whatever. What I have is I've already opened uh, a project in UEC, and this particular project um, is, and this particular project has around 300 images. Okay. So what I've done is I've just basically exported to Mobi and I'll show you the result. So here is the Mobi file and as you can see it is 37 megabytes and the project is 45 megabytes which is fine but the final Mobi file is 37 megabytes and although that is below the Amazon KDP maximum which is 50 megabytes it's still a pretty large file and the problem with large files is that the customer who buys this ebook on Amazon is going to have a poor experience in downloading this file because it's quite big the download is going to take uh, some time okay so one of the things that you can do is you can optimize this file. Now, when we optimize this file, which is the process I'm going to take you through, we're really optimizing the images in the file. So if you don't have any images in your project, then the optimization is not going to be very useful. Okay, it's just for images. So, for example, in our project, like I said, we have over 300 images. So instead of going and trying to optimize each image, which is going to take you a long time, and the other reason why you don't want to be doing that is that just in case you're using this project to create a physical file, then you want to keep the high quality in your images. But for ebooks, you can optimize the quality of your images to try to get your final movie file size down. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing here. So the first thing we'll do is go to configuration and then preferences and then head on over to the Kindle Gen Tool tab. And right down here, we see this option called optimize images and then there's a percentage. So let's go ahead and click that and check it and I would recommend that you leave this setting at 50% and this slider what it is is it, this is really a quality slider so the lower the value the lower the quality of your images in your ebook so when the um, when the engine generates the final file it's going to optimize every single image in that file and apply this setting to the file without changing its dimensions okay so what I would recommend that you do and I've kind of played around with this a lot and I found that the optimum setting is around 50 percent although you could probably go to 40 percent too so so try try playing around with this option we'll kind of leave it around you know 50 percent which is um, which is a good value to start with and then we'll see what happens okay so we'll click close and then we'll go to export and then we'll generate our mobi file and this one we'll just call the optimize one dot mobi okay and we'll click save so now we're actually generating the mobi file and this will take a few seconds okay so now we've generated the file let's have a look at the file so over here, we see that our original Mobi file was 37 megabytes, and now our optimized file is only 13 megabytes. So we've actually compressed this value down from 37 megs to 13 megabytes, which is a huge reduction in the size. Now remember what I said. This setting is used to manipulate the quality of each image inside your ebook. It does not 
change the dimensions of the image. It only plays around with the quality of the image. So the next thing you should do is once you have your Mobi file, you should open the Mobi file, the optimized Mobi file with the original Mobi file and kind of just, you know, eyeball the quality of the images. And you will find that you've saved a lot of space here, but the image quality is basically the same. I Well, I couldn't tell the difference. So, uh, but once again, like I said, you know, play around with these settings and um, see what happens. But I think this, this tool will uh, really help you to kind of reduce your ebook file size for quick downloads for your customer while maintaining the quality of each of the images. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.